Hi Reception, Mrs Butcher here and I'm going to be taking you through today's Phase 2 Phonics lesson. We're going to be looking at our letter formation and then applying that to writing CVC words. But first, let's recap all of our Phase 2 sounds. I'd like you to say the letter name and the sound that you see. D, D, P, P, S, S, K, K, N, N, U, A, F, F, I, I, R, R, L, L, O, O, H, H, G, G, C, K, S, S, T, T, Digraph, K, E, E, A, A, M, M, Digraph, Digraph, L, B, B. Great job, reception. Have a look at this picture here. I wonder if you can guess our sound for today. I know for sure that if we were there, we'd have to wrap it very warm because I think it'd be very, very cold. Well, maybe this picture will help you with today's sound. You don't see this very often, but when you do see it, you dip your nib in and then you write. I wonder if you know what it is. Did you hear the initial sound that both of those words make? Listen carefully. Igloo and ink. Should we do some magic together? I would like you to clap your hands on the count of three and let's see if today's letter will appear. Are you ready? One, two, three. It's the letter I. My turn. My name is I and my sound is I. Your turn. The sound I is a short vowel sound. It can be found at the beginning of words um, as the initial sound in words such as igloo and ink that we looked at, or it can be found in the middle of words, such as in lid or bin. We're now going to look at letter formation. The letter I belongs to the long ladder family. This helps us so we know what direction we are going to write the letter I. Put your pens and pencils down. Are you ready to follow me? My turn first. We're going to start at the blue area here at the top. We're going to go straight down. Give it a small tail. Taking your pencil off. Fly up to the top and give it a dot. My turn again. Starting here. And we go straight down, give it a small flick, fly back up to the top and give it a dot. Let's try together, taking hold of your pen or pencil. Start at the top, we go down, give it a small flick, fly back up to the top and give it a dot. Our turn again. Go straight down, and give it a flick, fly back up to the top and give it a dot. Now it's your turn. Try writing the letter I five times. Now let's try writing the word dig together. Have your sound mat ready and your pen or pencil. Dig. Let's stretch out the word d i g dig. I can hear d as the first 
first initial sound. D. I can see there is my D. It's a, the letter D. Let's put our pen here. So we start in the blue area. Start with a C. It's our curly caterpillar. And then climb a tree. Come back down to make a D. Our next sound is I. D. I. We know that's our sound for today. The letter I start at the top. We're going straight down, give it a flick, fly back up to the top and give it a dot. D. E. G. D. G. Oh, I can hear G. Let's have a look again on our sound mat. Oh, there it is, the letter G, G. Right, letter G is part of our curly caterpillars too. So to begin writing a G, you need a C. Then go up and back down to make a tail for a monkey. D, E, G. There is our word, dig. Let's do one more together. We're going to do the word sit. Let's start by stretching it out. S -i -t sit. Looking at our sound mat, we need to look for the sound. S oh, and there it is, right at the top S for snake. We start in the blue area, and S is curly, so we're going to go around to the left, around to the right, and that is how we make an S. S I. Oh, we can hear the letter I, our sound for today. Start at the top, straight down, give it a tail, fly back up to the top, and give it a dot. S I T sit. Have a look, can you see the sound T? Air is our sound, t, the letter T. Now it's not quite an ascender, this one. We start just above the blue area. We're going to go straight down and give it a tail. And then we cross the T at the top. S, I, T. And there is our word, sit. So now it's your turn. For our two chili challenge, I would like you to write the words tin and bin. Tin and bin. If you'd like an extra challenge, why not try the three chili challenge? Your word is lipstick. Lipstick. Just like you did for the other words, stretch out the words to hear as many of the sounds as you can. And don't forget, you can always email us your work at the reception email. Bye for now.